Now before starting the video, I would like to talk about the sponsor of this video, KeysFan. KeysFan.com offers cheap and legal OEM software keys in an easy way. You can activate software such as Windows and Microsoft Office in a fast and reliable way. With these keys that are 100% official and suitable for online activation. Moreover, they offer lifetime after sales support in addition to 24 by 7 customer support. The Black Friday sale is on right now, so don't miss Keys Fan Mega Discount. If you are interested, you can check the links in the description. Add the product you need to your cart. And catch 52% discount for Windows Series with RTG52 and 62% discount for Microsoft Office and Bundle with RTG62. Don't forget to check the descriptions for details. Hey everyone, this is Sarah, and welcome to RGB Tech. Today we're checking out the newest Winlater Frost 8.0 R1P root update. Yeah, this version comes with some exciting changes and key improvements for running Windows games and software on Android. In this update, we've got the new edition of Turnip 25.0.0, new DXVK GPLA Sync, which was missed in the last version, and VKD 3D 2.13 added to the start menu. They also fixed the OpenGL version issue in the VRGL menu, restoring it to the official default version. Plus, there are improvements and bug fixes that enhance performance and stability. Stick around to see all that's new and why this update is worth trying out. Alright, so these are the main system requirements for this Winlater Frost version. It only works on Adreno 600 and 700 series, but unfortunately, Adreno 720, 710, and 613 are still not supported. If you're using one of those GPUs or any other universal GPUs like Mali, you'll need to use VRGL. The good news is that Turnip Adreno 735 is still experimental but supported. Simply go to Assets, download the Winlater Android package, and install it. Make sure you've uninstalled the old Frost version first. Now open Winlater, allow the device permissions, and it'll start installing the system files. Okay, now head over to Settings. Everything is the same as usual. Here, set box 64 version to the latest 0.31 and also set the preset to performance. Save the settings. Now, in the top corner, add a new container. Set the screen resolution based on your device's performance. For this video, let's try out the new Turnip version, 25 driver. Enable sync. Set the DXVK version based on the games you play. For example, if you're playing GTA 5, choose the stable 1.103 version, which works well for most devices. Set the audio driver to pulse audio. Everything else is the same as we did in our recent videos. This time I'll go with the GTX 1050. Of course it's a bit dated card, but still it works. Set the video memory to maximum. Now, under Environment Variables, leave everything at the default. The VKD 3D feature level is already enabled. Head over to the Advanced tab. Set the startup selection to Aggressive Mode. Select Windows version 10. In Processor Affinity, enable all CPU cores for better performance. Save the container. All right. Now, let's boot the container. Now, to start, let's first check out the D3D cube map. Okay, it's fine. All other things in this update are the same as in the previous version. Now, select Install and install these important add-ons, both PhysX and the Visual C++ library. Also, install the DirectX 2010 drivers. Now, head to System Tools and check out the Direct3D. All right, the latest turnip driver is working fine without any issues. Okay, now everything's set. All right, guys, now it's time to test. So I'll go to the directory path where I've copied and installed games from PC onto the phone. Create a game shortcut to the container. Now exit. Again, go to shortcuts. Choose the game and go to options. Let's try with Turnip version 25. DXVK is set to 1.103, which is stable for GTA 5. Now start it. Oh no! It crashed. 
let's try again. Still an issue. This means the latest turnip driver isn't stable yet. Let's try an older version, 24.1. All right, all right, it's fine. Let's also try a bit older version, 23.1.6 and see how it goes. Just keep in mind, this might differ depending on your device. If you're using a Snapdragon 8 Gen with the Adreno 700 series, it might work for you. It all depends. For the 600 series, it's a bit different. Anyways, that's all for this video, guys. If you found it helpful, be sure to like and subscribe to RGB Tech. Drop your thoughts in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next one. This is Sarah, signing off. Thanks for watching.